So yes, uh, Rio and Manny has been a bit down. Woo! That was scary for a sec, man. I wouldn't want to see uh, one of them get DQ'd in top eight. But this is it. This is going to be a Florida team kill. Uh, East Ham MD from South Florida and Rio and Static Manny from Central Florida. And Rio going Palatina, man. This is you. This oh, is then you. my girl is back. Your girl is back. It's, uh, man, I'm it's so unfortunate. That even though, you know, I'm stay switching. Anyway, so let's go, Palatina. <laughs> so you know, you know what the really funny thing is? What's uh, Rio actually also plays Lucina. So <laughs> <laughs> but who is he playing in tournament? That's oh, what matters. Well, you know what? You know, uh, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta sandbag a little sometimes bit. Sometimes you, know? you gotta play the better character. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, this Palatine is talking. <laughs> Woo! I'll give you that, man. All I'll give right. you that for this match. Pal Rio's Palatine definitely putting in work right yeah, now. Yeah, it's actually legit. And this is MVD and Eastam. We're talking about these aren't normal, like ordinary. Diddy and Sheik? Uh, Sheik. No, these Pikachu are. Pikachu this, this is the Sheik. And I'm sorry, this is the Pikachu. You got me, It's dog. my fault. You got me, I got did me. it first. This is the Pikachu <laughs> and the Diddy Kong, uh, aside from Zero. But yeah. <laughs> MD definitely one of the, probably if not the, the second most prominent Diddy Kong player. Yeah. Wow, wow. he's going all the way down there. And he even got the tech afterwards. We almost saw a Trump, Led Trump back air. That would have been really good by Rio. Ooh. It's actually a really energetic match from both of these guys. Yeah, absolutely. Back and forth action. I think, I think Palatina is actually a hype character to watch. Oh, absolutely. If you saw that dash attack, Palatina taking the first stop. Shout out to Palatina. Yeah, not something you get to see very often. Uh, actually, you do. <laughs> <laughs> and another stop. And another stop. Wow. Wow, okay. Rio putting in so much work. Woo! And you know what? I'll tell you straight up. This is the matchup, uh, Palatina especially. This is the matchup that MBD and ESAM just don't have any experience with. Wait, uh, Palatina and Sonic? Uh, yeah. Um, we do have a Sonic player in South Florida, but true Palatina, blue. yeah, true, uh, but Palatina not one we have at all. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people don't know South Florida is very, very far from Central Florida, so these two don't, these two teams or these four players don't get to play with each other very often. Okay. So maybe we're seeing Rio trying to use the unknown factor to his advantage, which is actually really smart. Yeah, I can definitely see Ike not being uh, a great choice against Pikachu or uh, Diddy Kong. But, but nobody I, really uses let's, let's, Ike as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a switch, you know, afterwards. And depending depending on what happens. Okay. I'm sure we'll see both Ike and Palatina in this set. This is crazy. It's crazy to see uh, such a close match with a character that's considered just uh, bottom 10, really. <laughs> By most people. Uh, except for D1. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're going to lose friends, man. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'll be 100% uh, honest, uh, Rio is putting in so much work yeah, on this character right is. now, and I respect that really hard. So you said dash attack has invincibility, what is the other and attack? And back air? And back air, okay. Yeah. That's really, really interesting. It's the shield that and she have, has, right? Uh-huh, and yeah. they have good uh, knockbacks as well, so you have to be careful. Wow, but good Sam combo. Patch. Yeah. MBD up smash into Sam spike hitbox of thunder. And once again, uh, Palatina not having the least amount of stocks here. <laughs> no <Someone>. bias. <laughs> <laughs> So what? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, Manny, unfortunately, yep. taking out Rio's stock. Mutiny right here. It's fine. Rio still has another one somehow. Ooh. You know what? I hate to say it, but this match is looking uh, uh, much more even than I thought it was going to be. I, yeah. I, I think these are both two, two very, very strong teams, but playing Palatina, man, I thought it was going to be a blowout. All right, you know. Uh, <laughs> And that's, no, that's nothing on you. That's <laughs> nothing on you, D1. But, but you, I think even you can admit this character is obviously not as, uh, you know. It's mid tier. When it comes to teams, yeah. I, I've been a Smash player since 2005. Uh -huh. And when it comes to teams, I never account a character's placement on the tier list when it comes to how viable a team can be. Oh, okay. Yeah. I respect that. That's fine. Look at that. Yeah, the crowd's going absolutely ecstatic right now. Uh, it's still going to be kind of hard for a Rio and Tag Man to take this. They're both sitting at over, you know, kill percent at this yeah. point. But they, man, they're just putting in so much work right now while that up smash catching MVD by accident. I think he was looking for Ethan That wasn't right even the target, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be careful because that up air from Palatina has such great knockback. Absolutely. And is in rage. I feel like we might just see a smash attack at the and right time. No! Wow, that is so unfortunate. Rio taking out Static Manny. Yep. But that was such a close match. It Who was. saw that one coming? Who, honestly, <laughs> you know? Uh, like you were saying, in doubles, anything can happen, even no matter where you're on tier list. But I think in Smash 4, especially with the new ledge mechanics, that everybody can kind of go off stage. I think when you have not so great recovery in, in, in Smash 4 doubles, uh, that can get exploited. 
it, it's crazy. Like your your opponents will go off stage after you. So a uh, character like Palatina with not so great recovery. It's not bad though. It's not yeah, bad at all. Palatina actually has pretty good recovery. Yeah. One of the things that makes it hard when it comes to edge, gu edge guarding her uh -huh. is the fact that she teleports, right? Yeah. So you don't exactly know where she's gonna go. Other characters when they go for their recovery option, you can kind of cut them off midway, but she does disappear and is invincible for a short amount of time and it reappears. Oh, so she again. has invincibility also. So we're she's pretty much vanished right now. She's she's trying to be chic. That's my girl, man. <laughs> I don't <know. laughs> Well, uh, I mean, Lucina's LP is invincible on stage, so. Wait, it's invincible in midair? Uh, not in midair. And that's what I'm saying, so. Uh, anyway, we, uh, can we go to the next match? This guy talking about Lucina, man. Let's, let's get well, out of here. Uh, shield Breaker is the thing I have. I mean, I, I have you, power, you, power shield it? could deal with that. <laughs> and I have an unblockable move. My side B, I mean, it doesn't kill, but it's unblockable. And I have invincible moves. Back here, dash attack. Where's I got your, where's your uh, spike? I, where's your spike at? Though? I have a spike down there, just like is it. Does it? Oh, okay. And I have kill confirms with my down throw. Do you have grab to anything combos? At zero percent, I can do uh, zero percent. Just zero percent. <laughs> 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 so match number two on town oh. and city. And Rio, Rio heard us arguing, like, so yes. he's like, you know what, dude? <laughs> we want you to focus on the match and not your girl. So we're gonna switch it up. <laughs> and let's go. <laughs> And I have no qualms with this because, to be honest, Ryo's Ike is really hype anyway. Absolutely. Very yeah. fun character to watch. Um, you know, Fire Emblem characters are just great in general. <laughs> uh, I think this is a really good counter pick for them. Also, both Sonic, Sonic, and... Whoa, 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 Ryo almost getting caught on that that uh, Talon City platform right there. But uh, like I was saying, both, both these characters, Ike and Sonic, very prominent in killing upwards. We're going to see a lot of up tilts by Ryo. He loves that attack. I think it's a really great attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. No, you're, you're good, bro. <laughs> Twitter is just blowing up right now with the white Wars. Absolutely, but, um, guys. In any event, good stuff right there by Isam to avoid the up air from Mike. As you know. Whoa. Oh, okay. So he tried to do an extremely low recovery to watch to uh, you know to watch out for Isam's Thunder Joe off stage, but it was just a little bit too low and does not make it back. So that's it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for uh, for blue team. Really good stuff right there by Static Manny, just oh. sending the opponents into the air. Now looking Rio for the perfect pivot, follow up. Perfect pivot, forward smash by Rio, but uh, not able to finish in time. And <laughs> Isam, a very scary situation, landing on the uh, Town City platform. And Static almost getting that forward smash. Isam jumping right over and getting that neutral air. Yeah, wow. wow, that's really really unfortunate. So this match looking pretty good for Red Team right now, working on the six stock. And so that's something I see ACM's doing a lot more in doubles. Thunder off stage, looking for the spike hitbox. Um, I don't see him do that in singles very often, but I think in doubles you can definitely catch somebody off guard. Uh, you know, hanging out around the, the edge. Yeah. <clears throat> Tough situation right here on the right side of the stage. And at first I was gonna say Red Team was the one that was in that was under control, but it looks like they're the ones that are in control instead. And that falling up air by Rio gonna close that use and stock. Oh and the crowd is chanting something. I can't exactly hear what they're saying. But Oh the people's champ is what the crowd is chanting. And this match uh, still relatively even even though Static Manny losing uh his second stock right there, but both red team. Oh no! Okay, now now both blue team on their last stocks. Yeah, but remember, MVD and Andy Sam are up in the set. So yeah, they have one one match. Oh my god! Oh gosh. my gosh! <laughs> Ooh, that forward smash. You know, it's so, so scary, man. I'm telling you, man. If ever you get hit by an Ike forward smash, the whole venue will explode. Oh yeah. Uh, same thing with Captain Falcon. Me, e Sam clearing out the screen right there with that thunder. Nice follow-up. Good dash attack. And Isam coming through with that dare off of the multi dabs right there. It's still going to be a huge uphill battle for Blue Team if they want to take this. Oh, the barrel technician not quite getting hit. And we almost had an opportunity for Rio to get that follow-up. Uh, wow. Oh my gosh. The barrel's working against uh, Red Team's favor right there. And it is just back and forth. Isam on his Oh front my stock. gosh. And there goes MVD. And that's the setup. That's the setup. I like that. Isam waiting for his partner to get back. So yeah, man. We'll have invincibility and we'll come back at the same time. Both members of the blue team getting close to maximum rage. Once they hit 150, they will cap out. Yeah, and you know, this, these are two, two characters that definitely take advantage of max rage, uh, especially Ike. Yeah. 
for sure. But they're gonna have to take out some damage before they can start even thinking about, you know, KO and Red Team. Good job, Isam wow. covering MVD, letting him come back on stage. And now, let's see the follow-up. Good back hit right there by MVD, keeping it safe. Looks like Static Manny has been in so many, so many 2v1 situations. I kept, I thought you kept saying so many, so, so many so, 2v1 so many. situations. So many? <laughs> yeah, so many. <laughs> Good job so East by uh, Isam and MVD taking game two. In game number two. Yeah, man. 2-0 victory. Right. Well, not victory yet, but 2-0. 2-0 uh, yeah. in the set right now. So I don't know if you see Isam's glasses right now. The purple gunners, uh, the backwards Pikachu hat. I told him he looks like a really a 90s cool kid. Doesn't he look? <laughs> he looks really good. I respect. Yes. <laughs> Isam's definitely one of my really good friends, man. I've known him for such a long time now. So uh, Isam was actually my original doubles partner back in Brawl. Oh, what happened? Yeah, uh, I suck. That's what happened. I, I was not good at the game. <laughs> so he moved on to bigger and better things, which I, I respect. That's fine with me. It happens. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> at least you're putting in work here on the commentary booth. <laughs> uh, you'll see me and smash the record, though. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's no lie, by the way. I hope we, man. Guys, give me, give me that hashtag, Team Lucina. Can I just talk about uh, your SB underscore Zylax said, DC referencing Lucina's intro cinematic for why she's awesome, but forgetting she got wrecked in that video. Right there. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out to SB <laughs> underscore Zylat. Keep talking to me, people. Uh, Team politics. Guys, I mean, tears exist for a reason. Tears were determined before the game came out, even in the intro videos. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Oh, man. Twitter's popping off right now. Thank Twitter you so is much, popping off. <laughs> Waifu wars are so real. Oh, the waifu wars are going to be so real. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're in there. So, Re <laughs> <laughs> Rio and uh, Static Man now thinking of their counter pick for what could possibly be their last match of yeah. this doubles tournament. This is um, Losers, I believe. Yes. Yeah, this is definitely so, Losers. Uh, man, what, what, what do you think we're going to see a counter pick? They tried uh, Hound City with the low ceiling. did not work out for them. Uh, they lost the first match on Smashville. What are we going to see? Possibly Final Destination. I remember last time they picked Final Destination, and you did. You kind of questioned that pick too. You're like, why would they go there? Oh, we're going back to Town and City, and okay. Palatina could actually um, KO people earlier here. You've seen her up here. It's real. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're switching back to Palatina, noting that the first match was a lot closer than the second match, and I'm fine with that, man. Uh, I can tell uh, Rio is uh, definitely a big D1 fan, D1 supporter. <laughs> And that's, and that's totally fine, man. <laughs> I love all the supporters. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, does Palatina kill off the top very often? Is that one of her? Yeah, up air. Up, up air, okay. Up okay. air. See, this is the thing, right? Like, as you're doing the up air, since it's a multi-hit move, you're kind of dragging the opponent upwards mm -hmm. towards the blast zone. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, wow, the uh, Palatina counter. Yeah, 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 the active frames aren't that great on the counter. Uh -huh. And, you know... Like, it's kind of unfortunate certain moves don't quite have that much knockback uh, when you see. counter, but it, 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 the, the damage multiplier is decent. Well, you know, uh, Lucina has a really good counter. It's funny that she's she not that. on the stream, so uh, oh, yeah, you're right, you're we're right. going to try to stay focused <laughs> here. So anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness, the bias. Anyway, nice forward smash out the gate, and that forward smash has a win box. Not sure if Lucina has one, but uh, in any event. Well, the funny thing is that she doesn't actually need one, but listen. <laughs> I mean, you need all the help you can get, my friend. Let's, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we'll continue this off stream. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this match, uh, good team actually in the lead right now. Even though they're sitting at very high percents. Uh, as long as they can get some extra credit on these stocks. Yeah. Probably going to want to try and close out MBD's stock as soon as possible. But MBD, you know, MBD is very apt to living as long as possible in doubles. And that's really one of the big things that's been helping out his team. Uh, always the stock tank. Somehow doing it. the MBDI, as we like to call it. Oh, I never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Back oh. when he played Sh Snake, it was just unkillable. Uh, he, <laughs> he never died. But uh, Static Manning going to make me eat my words and close out MBD stock right there. And yet again, man, the blue team up. Just up in stocks. Wow. Okay. Red team's going to have to keep it together because they're <laughs> looking kind of sloppy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in this third match. But the team looking a lot better in the first two matches. Force smash and MVD getting hit by that for some reason. Not. Yeah, that like, was a really interesting setup. He went for the down throw and then just dashed around and finally yeah. and stuck that in him. Wow. Whoa, where's everyone oh, going? Okay, just off the top, man. Talent City. That's and how we do it. MVD and Palatina on their final stocks here. Uh, Rio, my bad. Yes. <laughs> and the up Woo! smash. Okay, Rio put it away. Wow, just coming in there with the dash. 
attack. D1 is probably feeling so good right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, gets the slight oh, hitbox, and, and we don't tech those. And we do not tech those, but Rio's going to get another stock from Static Manny, and this match is 100% even right now. Yep. Absolutely. Good usage of the jabs. Coming out in eight. Okay, so let me ask you a question. That, right. uh, that wall that Palatine puts out, is that neutral B? Or is neutral, that... Uh, side B. Yeah, oh, side B, okay. Yeah, it's uh, a, it reflects and yeah. it's unblockable point blank range. I'll give it that. It's a really cool attack. And it has a wind box. Yeah, yeah. It, has, yeah. It's, it's, it can be really hard to approach a Palatina uh, doing that with certain characters. Oh, uh, and Ryo looking for a settle right there, but not able to pick it up. Uh, so one good thing I will say about Palatina is her um, grab... Range is hilariously amazing. Yeah. It's, it's so far. It's actually good because, I mean, having an 8-frame jab, which is slower than your uh, grab, uh -huh. might as well have a... I might as well have a good grab. Yeah, right? Yeah. Give somebody an incentive to go for somebody else. Something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Ryo trying to use that unblockable technology. Smash is looking very, very even, and... No. Pal yeah, Palatina lives, man. That. Oh, we're landing on stage with up B. That's somehow not getting punished for that. Oh, wait a second, uh, MVD. He said try to set up with the Thunder, but he didn't quite get it. Yeah, good DI by Rio. Whoa, and there it is. Oh, oh okay. okay. Here it is. Here MVD it is. versus Rio. And but wow. it is over right before it got started. Before you, before you could even finish the analysis of this MVD versus Rio, MVD closed it out on uh, Rio. I think he got hit by the banana. And Up Smash is going to end that one real quick. Another 3-0 and a Florida team kill by South Florida. But a very good, a very good showing by Rio and Static Manny. Um...